makumi ya tatu na vitano na viwana kwamba kwa tumezi tutatu tukatanda makumi ya tatu na vitano viwali makumi ya tatu na vitano vitatu makumi ya tatu na vitano viwana tumezi tutatu tukatanda we are going to read uh, from the book of Hebrews chapter 10 verse 37 up to 39 Yeah. We already know how we normally read it. I'm yeah. going to read it in the English version. Yeah. I'll use the Amplified Bible. It might not sound as to other versions. The headline says Christ or Judgment. Verse 37 reads For yet a very little while, he who is coming will come and will not delay. But my righteousness one, the one justified by faith, shall live by faith, respecting man's relationship to God and trusting him. And if he draws back, shrinking in fear, may the soul has no delight in him. But our way is not that of those who shrink back to destruction, but we are of those who believe, relying on God through faith in Jesus Christ, the Messiah. And by this confident faith preserves the soul. Amen. Amen. Let's follow each other in the family. What did they see in the people? So that they had the time to document this type of words. Uh, these words are self-explanatory. We know already that God exists in the upper heavens. Know also Jesus Christ also resides with him in heaven. We all call them that they are one because they are God. But the, the Son and the Father. They are one. Now they are saying that. To the people who are reading. That is a short period that is remaining. That the one that is coming will then come. Hallelujah. Amen. That is a short period that is remaining. That the one that is coming will then come. Hallelujah. The limited time only remaining so that the person who is coming will come. It will not even sunset, go to sunset. He doesn't have delay, but he is coming. But the rightfulness one is the one who is. The one who is standing in faith is the one that will receive the everlasting joy. It's the one who will be served by the Savior. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. This is the word of God. The right one. The one that stands in faith. The one who will be saved. <coughs> but the one that is always going at the back of the way. The one who is always looking side to side. In my heart. I will not even talk to him again of that nature. I will not even remember him. Hallelujah. Amen. A concluding verse. He said. Eh, If it was like us, that we supposed not to go back again. Because we would like to acquire everlasting life. We want to acquire the promise that we are given. This is how this scripture is directing us life. Reference. This is the word of God. It came this morning. Did not come to wild animals. Did not come to the fish in the sea and the rivers. But it came to people, people of value. <laughs> the value of those of people who have respect. God would like to request that. He doesn't want a person to oh, wait for oh, him. Oh, oh, that when he's working for him, then he's going to deviate again. So that he can go to do his things. That type of mentality, God doesn't want it. He's taking you out of his heart already. He wants those people who are committed to work for him. They are closer to him. The ones who are praising him. They should continuously praise him like that. They should stand strong like that in faith. Those are the ones that are going to acquire Hallelujah. the life that we are promised for. This the word of God. He came very fast. Because he saw that troubles was among the people. Suffering was among the people. Death was encountering the people. Sicknesses was encountering the people. Hunger and starvation was in them. He felt hearted because these are the souls that he created in his image. He said now that the time is finished or gone. If you are being taught that the person who's coming is going to come in a short period of time, then among us we already have a question. But here he did not indicate time. What type of time is he talking about? Because he could have mentioned time, I wanted to prepare myself. If you go back in the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter 24, uh, from 36, it is saying that time, Time and time and days. Nobody knows the time or the day or even the hour. Even the son of the angels, nobody knows that. Firstly, only God himself who knows Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So he's now reminding us that it's only a short period of time that's remaining. This time that he's talking about. We don't know whether he's already in the way. We don't know whether he's still sitting where he is. We don't know whether he's still packing his beds to come. Everyone is given a concern. 
so that you can hold to it and stay be watch ya kuti mwende na lika mbao it is a hole and then haluti leno nzima na tumbo lali now you have to wait while you are waiting ask yourself are you still remaining in the faith that is saying Halina wewe hapijiwa nena. Hapijiwa na ndiri na zamuipa kabie nini? How will he find you? Will he find you still having hope and faith in God? Kama kuli kwa kwa njiwa nena. Halmosi. Ndiri halmosi ya hapijiku mba nini? Where the place is going to find you? Will he find you at the right place or will he find you maybe at the shabins? Bizeo ni bili hakati ke tutu wa nina wena nge. So, it is now among us as people now. Things there is still time. The time is no longer there we are being told that it's a limited time remaining. Now we know that if the word of God comes like that. So Even here on earth where we are living it is like how it's happening. Eh Yeah, there's an ambalao. But we believe you see that ingawa katima me. Was was ilaza kuzikuka pale. So, we know already if they tell you that your uncle who left long time ago is coming from Europe or United States of America, people prepare to go to Hosea Kutako International Airport to wait for him. Mungu anatanda ke yangu ago. Ije balao kwenda chawe ke ye kwendela pia kwenda ke chama cha uto. Because they know that the airplane is fast. It doesn't move like Vehicles. And also the coming of the Son of God, Jesus Christ, which they are mentioning. Is it is not like that. But we should not wait for this time the same way we wait our friends when they promise that they are coming to visit us then all of a sudden they encounter sicknesses then they postpone by saying that no today i'm not feeling well i will see you tomorrow or maybe next week it's not like that but here let's be prepared God is already standing He just want to stand up and come. Time is a short one. We don't want we don't know the hours or days or seconds. It must be in us. When we are walking around, when we are eating, when we are at work, when we sleep, Let's be alert and awake that it's a short period remaining. God will come encounter you. Now I don't know when I'm going to meet him. What time will it be like? Will he find me while in the sickness which I've been caught on? The sickness that I'm not wasting for. Then you will just hear that no, your brethren is no more. That when you want to just to cross the road. Then you was just ran over by a car. When you wanted to cross the river. Then you thought that the river is so easy to cross that the water just took Then God has taken him just like that. Now to the things that we have been warned here. To the work that we have been warned about. Or maybe to the work, your work and my work. But time when the time is now, here already for me or you. How is your work now? Is it right or not right? Ooh, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank the God. Great obstacles, the big problem. But will be a very big day. It's only right now that it's among us to prepare ourselves for that day. This day, all of us we should wait for it patiently. Yes, we should wait for it patiently. Don't even think about that. This day will escape you that it's not right. 
find you the next day to what happened like that. Many are waiting. I say already that there is a short period of time remaining. I will happen or I will come. Don't wait now, my brother, or my sister, that this day is talking about is maybe it will be a day that is coming yes to come. But he's coming. A second or a minute it can happen that he have encountered you. Traveling in the car, uh, the car is have a uh, accident or a car is going to go you are the only one taken, the others are five. Your time is just like that gone. Now if it happens like that, how will it be like? Are you prepared? Or oh, maybe you are still parking, getting ready again. Yeah. Sit down and think about it. 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 Now, where will we get strength so that we can be strong in our faith and in spirit? Now, if you are here and you are here, 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 you are here. No one will tell lies to you again that this is how it's happening. The church, we can see it happening on social media and TVs, everything is happening in daylight. My name is Jimmy Hore. Let me ask you a question. I would like to request uh, to ask the young ones. Yeah. Uh, uh, when it comes to sports, are you prepared for it? 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 Not all of them are the same. Yeah. Now I want to ask you a question. Who understands the rules and the regulation of various sport codes? We can even solve the problems. Now I am using the Bahasa. I can put two of them. Wow, 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 wow. Now, when people are playing or during sport activity, who is in charge or the controller of that activity? The referee. The referee that have got a whistle is the one controlling the game. Amen. Amen. Because he's the leader, chosen one. He's the one to direct the whole game. Many are watching him from various countries on television, watching him how he's managing the special game. Now I ask you a question. Is he walking alone or maybe there's people helping him? The football watchers are saying there's also people called linesmen helping him. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Because he has the power to control the game. But if you watch football nowadays, you will see that every referee and every assistant have got a microphone. That microphone is connected and he is talking to the person who is controlling the game, though he is outside. If he makes a mistake, or maybe he, have ex he did not see an error that have happened, the other people who are watching will remind him through the microphone that the certain specific player, he did this and this, so his punishment is like this. Now, the question now, if I ask now about this referee now, we can only be able to say, 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 we can only be able to say,
Chiteke kwa sote kuta chipo teke kana chuo baadhi wao sivali kumi yangu anetupa bina muki na wote. What punishment does she give to those who are committed that they are playing the game? Black card. Black card. Yellow card and red card. The black card is not there. Na wasoka school ni mimi ni wako kwa chakula. So guys. The punishment that they are saying is a yellow card and a red card. Hallelujah, Munga. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, na chuo na ili puro ya chile. It's a good answer. Ah, chile ujamoto ikiye na mtu na ulani puka singo yo ya bulwa na puko leo yoro na paka ikiyo mwe ya kutumbula ika yoro ya ponyo ni mada kutumbula ya ponyo hali zee na pande kuhana huni zee wa kutumbula kwa yelo so the referee now will look at the gradients of your transgression if it was a soft one or accidental then they will give you a yellow card muna linga muna ako lipuko yoro ya kutumbula ya kutumbula ya kutumbula ya kutumbula
will just come and capture you very fast. Kwa nini wako hiyo chipo ya kitu mwanani janga vile tu chipo ya kitu mwanani yeye sasa. Kwa nini kuliko wewe ni janga? At your preference even if we see problems in our lives. Let's not get away from God. Let's come closer to God. Kahet tukayoya na wakati ambao muone. By coming closer to God we will receive Everlasting Lord. He is the work of God this good morning. God must bless us. Hallelujah. Let's go to the Thank you very much, our pastor. Preaching, preaching, loving, loving. When my Jesus comes again.